So, I am... Uh, so, I'm making another attempt to go out tonight and have a fun time. <laughs> that sounded a little bit more ominous than I meant for it to be, but uh, I'm taking a walk uh, just up the street here, going to turn in a minute, and as I, uh, what's that word called, narrate <laughs> my day for some ungodly reason, but uh, uh, not too special of an event at the bar tonight. Um, the, uh, the kids from, I say kids, I don't know, I think they're about my age from, uh, no, I think they're a little older. Well, some of them, Grendel, uh, one of them anyway, at least one of them, is going to be DJing. Is that just a one-man band at this point? Uh, one of them is going to be DJing. And, uh, the, uh, the tour mate bands are also going to be there. And I do like, uh, Allison, formerly Caslow's Bats, then Goblin Queen, then she, uh, pretty much just, uh, changed her YouTube to just the, uh, the band Esoteric, and I do enjoy their music, so I'm just, uh, stepping up here, uh, to one of the places, at least, in downtown Ypsilanti, that, uh, one of the uh, metaphysical shops. There's actually a couple. <laughs> like, we've got Ann Arbor beat as far as metaphysical shops go. But that's another story for another time. So I'm just going to stop up the street here a little bit. And, uh, I don't know, just pick up a couple little cheap things. Because I'm one of those douchebags. I don't know. I did leave a frustrated comment, like, what, a couple months ago when she made that video explaining why the change to the channel and all of that, and, or at least the one before that, the music video before that, that she posted, uh, but yeah, it was just frustration, and I hope she understands, so, yeah, this little, uh, cheap-ass little gifty that I'm hoping to bring will, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't, hmm, I don't exactly feel bad, you know, because I didn't say anything I really regret, but I just hope it was taken the right way, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will um, cement my intent, or confirm my intent from my brain to hers. I word things really oddly, and sometimes I'm not so sure the words I want, but whatever. Uh, so, because on the one hand, I don't feel especially awkward narrating to my phone walking around outside because half this town probably thinks I'm off my rocker anyway. Just just walking down the street. Just something about me looks nuts. I don't know. But uh, when in shops, I do feel a little bit more self-conscious. So I'm about to pull up to that section of the block that's got him and turn off the camera. Uh, DJ, uh, didn't, it did not occur to me um, while I was getting um, um, part of the gift anyway from uh, World of Rocks out on uh, North Huron Street, downtown Ypsilanti. Uh, they've got crystals for the most part. Various crystals, semi-precious stones, and all that. It didn't occur to me while I was there that I might want to get a, uh, 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 what's that called? Some video of this, but the, uh, the, the young lady there who's, uh, who works there, she offered to, uh, gift wrap it. So this part is, uh, it's, uh, it's a smudge. It's, um, it's black sage or, uh, mugwort. I don't know if it's a blend of mugwort and sage or just straight up mugwort, but it is uh, black sage. Uh, this was only about $4 there, and I mean, I don't know, you can pro I don't know if they've got a website, um, but if you're local, just you can go in there and find out how much. I know it's usually kind of tacky to, uh, um, 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 
uh, share the price of a gift. Uh, but then again, I don't know if she's going to see this video. Like I said, this is just like kind of an olive branch offering of mine. Uh, in the box, though, is a piece of fossilized cor uh, coral. I did not intend to go in there and get this, the coral. I did want to get the mugwort. I wanted to get the mugwort and some uh, sort of crystal uh, for her that kind of like spoke to me and said like, wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's Alice, or at least the impression I get of her when I watch her uh, videos or when I used to watch her, because she's archived all of the old ones except for the band. That's her prerogative. She can, she can do what she wants with her own videos. It's just, like I said, uh, in the um, walking there and getting a little sh short-winded because I'm still a bit of a fat ass, but oh well, it happens, and I'm becoming less of one, and like the shop was like four or five blocks away, so whatever. But um, but um, but um, but um, but yeah, the uh, the blue ribbon and all of that, and the girl at the shop, she gift wrapped it for free even, and so that's really nice if you're local and you want to just like get your um, pagan and new age friends some random shiny things. Look at that little lace ribbon there and the blue, like this was like all that was there of the blue ribbon, uh, or at least this shade. And there was this more like, um, kind of like sky blue aqua sort of shade, Heimer now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like this, this just really struck me. Like it's, it's very close in color to, um, to a couple of, uh, ch -ch -ch. there's this, there's this dress. I think it was her that I saw, that I saw her in it, and this reminded me that I'm probably me missing mix, bleh, bleh. I'm probably mixing her up with somebody else right now, and I'm gonna feel bad when I discover that. Uh, this also really spoke to me, but I feel like a I feel like a bit of a dick bag since I'm gonna be uh, pulling a uh, little I don't know like moderate take backsies because okay. I have not really been much of one for um, using wands in ritual and all of that until very recently. Uh, there was a sort of like informal workshop on wands, and I say informal because um, so there's the Witches of Crazy Wisdom group on Facebook, and um, and there's an open invite like. Anybody who's genuinely interested and doesn't want to cause a scene is welcome to uh, come to the uh, Witches' Night Out at Crazy Wisdom. It's the second Tuesday of every month, and one time, hi, yes, uh, one time, ah, uh, I'm brain farting on her name, and I know her name too. I'll know her name when I see her again, because uh, she's there regularly. Uh, she makes wands. Occasionally, she'll uh, sell some on consignment at another shop I stopped at, and... Uh, even stars Chalice, which is right next door to World of Rocks, and, um, but yeah, I haven't really been interested in doing anything with wands and ritual, uh, but then I went to the workshop and I was just like, okay, well, at the very least, I'm learning about something that other people do, but shortly after that, I started collecting sticks, um, like, big, sturdy one, well, not, like, this isn't, this is actually one of the smaller ones I've been picking up lately. There's a couple really big ones. I don't think they're going to become wands. I think I'm going to just like put little nail. Well, I know definitely one of them I'm going to put little nails into and use it to hang my little stuff. Um, well, that can be hung anyway. Uh, but yeah, I got there, and so this is a piece of... I think it's some kind of opal. I think. I don't know. I do know it's UV reactive, and I've got a couple pieces of UV reactive um, quartz, but this, when it's out of the bag, it sits on this part, like, almost perfectly. I'll have to, I'll, I'll need minimal sanding here, so, um, again, like, the color just, like, really reminded me of, I swear it's a dress she was wearing once. Um, so, I don't know, I feel like this should go to her when I finish making it, um, and, but, like, there are these two other little pieces of UV reactive quartz, and I want to finish sanding it and, like, maybe do some wire wrap around parts of it. Uh, I won't be able to... They were able to put the two pieces of quartz on hold for me because uh, they sell a lot of their crystals uh, by the gram, and uh, those two pieces of quartz were $2 a gram, I believe. And so uh, came together to about $18, those two little pieces. 
the rest of these bags, I've been intending to do some little, like, shopping bag kind of video. Oh, wait, this is part of the gift as well. Um, so I went uh, next door to Even Star's Chalice, and I picked up this bag already. And uh, we've got some um, incense. So I'm going to, uh, it's Ocean Tranquility, or Ocean Serenity Tranquility Incense. So I'm going to find, I've got gift bags in um in my front closet that i use for storage again now that isaac is gone thank god he like i gave him about half of the storage closet because he has a lot less clothing than i do and he used it for like maybe a week and then like kept his clothes in a pile in front of the closet and why are you knocking things off the couch for now so these bags here are my stuff. This is stuff that I got... When was I last there? Um, oh, hey, that, that tells me what's in here. So, what was the date on this? I don't know. They, oh, they don't date it. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, so I was last in the World of Ro Rocks a couple of weeks ago. So this is my own Black Sage here. Um, you saw what it looks like in that one. Uh, da -da -da -da. And I've got a couple of my own little stones. I feel a little bad that I can't show off the um, the fossilized coral, but it would be nice if uh, she wanted to take a picture and put it on her own Instagram or something. So let's see. This would be a uh, this would be a small abalone shell. Um, da -da -da, iridescence. Uh, these are actually a snail. I thought they were bivalves for the longest time, but um, very little is known. Uh, well, I don't know. Like as far as like <laughs> as as far as like scientists who study them go, I'm sure plenty is known about them. But not, your average person doesn't know a lot about abalone. So, and this one. Oh, wait, this has a couple of little things in it. That's right, because uh, this would be the. Uh, this would be the titanium quartz that's got this rainbow iridescence. It's mostly cool colors, so we've got some blues, some greens, some violet. That's beautiful. And this is a uh, um, ruby in fuchsite. This is also mine from... Uh, ruby would be my birthstone, being July. So, I was going to make myself a little necklace out of this. Um, the, uh, the titanium quartz, that's for another project. Probably, probably some, I think I wanted to do a pendulum with that. So, um, those at my bag. Derba, derba, derba. What is, I forget what's in here. Wait. Okay, that's some pretty paper and the thing fell out. This is, you know, oh, I've got an idea. I'm going to use this instead of one of my gift bags, I think. So this was from Even Star's Chalice, and we have uh, the from uh, Rosarium Blends. This is the Summoning Spirits Incense Blend. Um, I'm probably going to get my Mortal and Pestle and um, um, crunch this up a bit in, um, before I burn it. Uh, conjuration incense used for invoking spirits. If desired, add nine drops of blood to portion of incense used in the ritual. Um, Rosariumblends.com. Uh, if I forget to <laughs> add the, um, the thing, the, the link in the description box. As always, please remind me, or you're smart, you can remember what I said and go there yourself. Now, I have on this, it should be on this table, I just saw it. I need to pick up this, it's right here. I do need to pick up the table. <laughs> I feel bad, I do, but you know, Catholic upbringing, that's, that's what you do. You feel bad about everything when you're raised Catholic. So, um, I've had this one forever, the black one with the, uh, with the standard, uh, pentagram on it. And so, I also picked up these at Even Stars Chalice. We've got a little white one. Uh, 
most of these I picked up at the beginning of the month, so yeah, I'm broke already. This does not, but I um, should be able to, at the very least, find myself a, uh, I think a Sharpie should do just fine, um, a gold metallic Sharpie of some sort. If not, I can find a more expensive -er paint pen to do that with, and I've got a red one and a blue one, so earth, air, fire, water. I know other people use different colors. That's them. This is me. So, um, so now I've got those complete, and plus, oh, there's the other one, and of course, that's how badly I need to pick up the table. Um, this would be, um, spirit. Um, I know it's pink. It's, some people use purple. I had a, uh, I had a chrome one, which I thought would have gone better, but the chrome all wore off. I might be able to, uh, I know they make chrome tape. I would probably only want to keep that on the outside, um, rather than, like, go in there, but, um, you know, just in case it ignites. But I think I can patch that up with chrome tape. And... Tissue paper, tissue paper, tissue paper, more tissue paper. And so this was from Brick and Mortar, which is, uh, they build themselves as a modern general store. They've got a lot of old-fashioned, they've got a mix of things there. They've got a mix of consignment stuff from local artists, um, old-fashioned style candies, and also some antiques for sale. And then some antiques just for display, because, you know, when you have antiques, you want to show them off. I, oh gosh, this is a story. So, I have, uh, at the beginning of the month, this is a reason why I'm broke. I was just, like, really stressed out, and I, it's right in front of me, right here. And I had a a bit of a binge, uh, a bit of a shopping binge on eBay, and a lot of them was just bids. I do need to make a minor repair to this because the, uh, the flint got stuck the first use. This was brand new. I can't believe I got this for, I want to say a little under 25 after postage, um, and was literally the only bid on it. So I had a rush on table lighters, and because all of the auctions pretty much um, had a, like, they were, they did arrive as described, it's just, suddenly I had literally five table lighters, and please, just, please don't judge me too harshly for that, because, like I said, I was feeling sorry for myself, I know it was a binge, I'm sure at least one of them probably would have bought it back, at least, you know, if I paid for the shipping anyway, but at the same time, it's like, I'd, I'd be out that much extra for the shipping, um, only to get a relatively small amount back from the original payment, I suppose, you could put it, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm sure at least one person would have, like, maybe refunded me in full. It, I, I would have felt awful doing that, because it was all as described, and nothing was wrong with any of the items that wasn't in the description, so, um, I just had a bunch of table lighters to unload. So, um, I figured I'd cut my losses and go to, uh, brick and mortar. Uh, they, um, I said, if you don't want to buy it outright, if you don't want to buy any of these outright, I'm fine with, um, uh, store credit, and, well, first I tried one of the, uh, one of the, like, designated antique shops where I'm a bit, uh, yeah, where I know the people a bit more because they've been around longer, uh, but, uh, Jim wasn't really interested in the table lighters, so I tried there first, you know, thinking at the very, like, I've been shopping there pretty much since I've been back in town. Um, he would have given me a more than fair price for cash if he was interested. And that's the thing with antiques, is like, some shops would be interested, other shops won't. It depends on what the shop is. It's like basically what 
it's, sometimes it's mood, sometimes it's this shop specializes in these things, this other shop specializes in these things. So, um, so yeah, I tried brick and mortar because they were open that same day and they were willing to take a look. So I went in and I got store credit and I used most of it. I still have $10 left on a gift card on an ice crusher. And I've wanted an ice crusher for a while, for my own reasons. Um, uh, well, because I like crushed ice. That's that's my reasons, I guess. Like, do you really need any other reasons? Why? Please get back in here. There we go. Uh, it's not quite as old as I'm usually into, but um, my uh, yeah. So this was twenty-four dollars. I've got a ten-dollar gift card for later. I will hopefully put that toward the uh, the juicer, this uh, vintage, I want to say late 40s, early 50s electric juicer, which is also in white and red, which my kitchen is slowly turning to. Uh, this was not intentional um, on my part. One of my exes, one of the, the ex that I'm really good friends with still, uh, he noticed that I was kind of doing this already, and he's like, were you intentionally going for Coca-Cola colors? Because my grandmother on my mom's side, she worked for Coca-Cola for about 40 years, 1939 through, ni through 1984, and from and the last 15 years, she was working at the drop-off station for the for the trucks where they'd like you know move things over and like switch rigs and all of that um, in Lenaway County, uh, which is how I first knew of Lenaway County. But um, but yeah, she uh, she got. Uh, she she got access to a lot of things, as did a lot of the as did a lot of the girls who worked at the at the factories, capping bottles and shit. Um, hmm. So she would often get like sometimes free, sometimes at like for almost nothing, even by 1940s money, uh, like you know where five dollars was you know a fair amount of money. It was like. I don't remember the exchange rate, but let's just say like five dollars. Nineteen forty-two was roughly equivalent to twenty nineteen. Let's say fifteen twenty-five thereabouts, roughly. I don't know. Um, just as an example, you can go check xe.com if you want. But yeah, my grandmother had a whole lot of Coca-Cola merchandise. Some that was only really available to like restaurants and all of that. So. She had her kitchen done up in Coca-Cola merchandise and, you know, like, licensed, um, like, bar stools and stuff. And I know my mother, <laughs> I know my mother just, like, unloaded that on a collector because uh, we had a, we had a fair amount of money. Not really, not, um, we didn't have much inheritance, but they had, they had a fair little amount of money after, um, after both her parents died. And they died within about a year of each other. My grandfather stressed himself into uh, an ulcer that ruptured and stuff after she, like, I, I honestly think she was the only woman he'd ever been with. Uh, <laughs> like, they met, uh, he, he left home around um, in Cornwall. He grew up in Cornwall. And so he left when he was about 16, 17. Um, Long story. Uh, they met in London, which you know, was her hometown, and they married. Uh, she was a little bit older, like uh, I want to say about 14, 15 months older than him, and uh, so yeah, like they married like, maybe about a year after meeting, and it was adorable. But it's like this was literally the only person he'd ever been. This was literally the love of his life. So of course he stressed himself out and died like 11 months later. But yeah. Um, my grandmother also went crazy after they made her retire, which is another story for another time. And, uh, but yeah, her, her kitchen was done in mostly red and white with some black accenting. And yeah, I've just kind of, it was totally unintentional at first, but now I'm just like kind of running with it because it's like, this is what's happening. This is what happened already. My grandmother is messing with my head from beyond the grave. She died in 1990, right? And she's messing with my head beyond the grave, and I'm I'm doing my kitchen up in the same colors her kitchen was done up in for no reason. I did not intend. I did not intentionally go out with this plan. It just kind of happened this way. So, 
that's uh, that's one of my spooky little stories. So, see uh, l whenever I'm done with shit. <laughs>